There should be no mandates, period. None. And I think the airline mandate is, to me, one of the most cruel, because if you go to the beginning of COVID, I actually thought, hey, an airline, because you're in a cylinder, that may be really, really risky to be there. Well, the way they have the air filtration, fact is, you just don't have outbreaks on the airplanes. And that was whether they're wearing masks or not. So you have no mask in most of society, which is really obviously good. And yet they keep clinging to this, forcing people on an airplane to wear it. And the thing is, You'll have somebody sitting in an aisle seat, and they will put the mask down and fake nibble on peanuts for two hours so they don't have to have it covering, so they can breathe freely. And it's all a charade. I understand why they do it, because I'd want... But then if someone's right next to them, and they just want to breathe freely and read a magazine, somehow that's a big problem. And so this is COVID theater. But what it is, is they are pro trying to prolong the misery that these flight attendants have had to deal with. Did you see the flight attendants were crying? They were so happy when they repealed, when the judge ruled that they didn't have to be forced masked all day when they're in the airplanes. All the, most of the passengers were, were having a great time saying how, how, what a relief it was. And so when you see that and you realize there's no real data behind this, why would you then try to re appeal this which is basically trying to reimpose mandates that's going to just prolong the misery for people. So I think it will be totally outrageous uh, if, they, if they appeal this decision. I think that they have decided that they are going to do it. I don't think they're going to seek an immediate stay, which in some respects may even be worse because you are going to have this decision in effect. People are not going to be having to wear a mask. And then if they win the appeal, <laughs> you could reinstitute it somewhere down the line. Uh, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever, and um, I, I think we've just got to get beyond this. But it does go to why are they doing this? And I think part of the reason they're doing it is because they like to exercise power over the people that they govern. They like to be able to take decisions out of your hands and force a mask on your face, force kids to muzzle, force people to lose their job if they don't take a COVID vax. All the things they've done to use the coercive power of the state uh, to take away your freedoms over the last two years. And there's a reason why we're known as the free state of Florida, because we never muzzled you in Florida. We never imposed a mask mandate in this state. We made sure kids were in school five days a week, all the way back in 2020, when no other major states were doing that. We made sure everyone could work, businesses like this could operate, and we said nobody should lose their job based on these jabs. You have a right to work and they can't force you to do it. And the same thing about going out and living in society. Other parts of our country, you have to show medical papers just to be able to go into a restaurant and have a meal. In Florida, we ban that. And so that, there's a reason why we led the nation in domestic tourism in 2021. Uh, why we even beat New York in foreign tourism and why we never had such a strong year for domestic. Um, it's because of the stark contrast with treating people with respect, protecting their freedoms, letting them make their own decisions, not constantly badgering them with different types of restrictions and mandates. And here's the thing I think people need to know is, yes, a lot of this stuff is now unpopular, so there's elections coming up. As soon as we get by those elections, these lo people that are inclined to lock down policies, they will absolutely try to do it again. They will absolutely do it. So the only way to be sure that it doesn't happen again is to not elect anybody who embraces those policies. And I can tell you in Florida, you know, with me in this chair, your freedoms are protected.